Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, Be as another HL14 news update. That is right guys, and I do apologize that this is a day late. I was out all day yesterday when the trailer actually came out. Come back home and there's like 30 trailers in my subs uh, subscription box. And uh, I didn't really think I should have put the video out. I really want to do like an in-depth analysis. Because uh, that, that's usually what I do, I don't really post the trailer or anything. I really want to give you guys my feedback and the in-depth analysis of the whole trailer. And I'll always link it down the screen description below uh, for the trailer so anyways guys let's get to it all right guys so in this video we're gonna be talking about the stick skills so basically like the one touch deeks all the new improvements to the stick skills uh, like what with the puck chop and stuff like that so uh, without further ado let's get to the first point so first point we got puck chops so puck chops introduced in HL 13 uh, help move the puck around the ice quickly in HL 14 puck chops have been improved in many ways chop controls are easier to pull off now you only need to hold the RB R1 button and then flick the right analog stick in the direction you want to chop. This ensures you're not chopping the puck when you expect a poke check and allows you to chop a puck that is directly in front of you. If used when close to the offensive goal, that player will try and put the puck on net. I really like what they're doing with this because in HL13, I honestly didn't really use the poke check too often. I know it was a very useful tactic. I usually just stuck to, uh, to my old school ways, uh, but it was a very useful tactic. I do know that. And the fact that they're making it a lot more easier and not more, like, not really uh, as much confusing in 13, because I know in 13, if you went for a poke check, sometimes you just whack it across the boards. Uh, so it's good to see that they make it a little bit more simple. I might use it in 14. Uh, so it looks like a little bit more intuitive, which is always good. And it's always nice for a good old touch up so anyways that is for the puck chop all right guys next we got face offs this is probably a really big point in the trailer uh, but anyways let's get to it some get frustrated by those who spam during face offs Oh my god, I do. <laughs> I bet you guys do too. But anyways, so HL14 now gives advantage to the person who gets their sticks in early and stays with their Nash or their initial grip. Timing and skill will be the determining factor in winning a face-off and controlling the momentum of play. I would figure that would be in like 13, you know, 11, 12. But um, I guess they're kind of taking out the spamming. I don't know if it's still going to be in there. It probably will be, but honestly, it's going to give um, players who actually know what they're doing on face-off they want to win it back to the right D. They're in the right position and they time it right. So not just some jackass or dumbass, whatever you want to call them. Uh, some obnoxious fuck. <laughs> I hate when people do that. I'm going on a little rant here. Uh, just spamming like the tie up button, and hopefully they get the tie up and their winger comes in, abuses the speed, back end, forehand goal. We know. We've seen it before. But, anyways, it's good to see that they're working on that. I mean, like, I honestly really do um, take time on my face offs. I want to win it back to my defenseman, the, my certain defenseman, rather. Uh, if I'm going for the uh, tie up, I won't spam it, right? So I time my face off's good and it's good to see other rewarding players like that so, and a bunch of other you guys uh, probably do the same thing so anyways it's good to see that they're eliminating spamming in the face off thought Alright guys, so the second last point is the poke checks and defensive deflection. So poke check effectiveness will stay very based on a player's stick checking attributes, but we've ensured that poke checks are less effective if the player's body is not properly aligned, which is good. That makes sense, right? But anyways, just like real hockey, players will be stronger when they're balanced on their skates and poking in the area in front of them. In HL14, speed is now much uh, more of a factor in determining whether a poke or deflection is effective. If a puck is moving with great speed, the puck may slip through the defender's stick. In other situations, if a, de if a defender only gets a piece of the puck, the speed will play a greater role in determining how much the puck will bobble. If a defender gets a stick on the puck, the player trying to perform a one-time will no longer automatically pull it off. A player that pokes the puck will no longer pull it back with their own stick and times will make a double contact. So, honestly, I really like the idea of this. I mean, the poke checks in 13, I felt were very effective. I mean, if you got a reach like char or something like that and um you get a poke going oh my god there's no way getting by him honestly uh but i it's good to see the tony down and actually take some skill to get the poke check um you guys can check in the trailer if you guys haven't checked the trailer already it will be linked down in the description as well as the article i'm reading off through the video so you guys can check that out uh but yeah it's good to see that skill is actually playing a factor in this game um honestly i just like all the realism they're adding to this game and i'm so 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 pumped for this game guys honestly i love all the little things are doing like I said and uh, the realism just tops it off for me I really like the looks of this game and hopefully get to see more trailers like this so that's it for the poke checks and defensive deflections 
All right, guys, so final point, we got passing in puck pickups. So fixes ensures it's easier to pass for sta to stationary players. Also, less offsides on pass or passes near the blue line. Now the receiver will turn to face the pass rather than pull back to their generic stance and invariably go offside. Oh my god, it was so bad in 13. Uh, we all know that, right? But anyways, it's good to see they're touching that up. And on fake slap shots, the pickup is now much more seamless. So previously, the player would often fumble with the puck when requiring it. Honestly, I love what EA is doing in this game. This could arguably, arguably be the best NHL for, or best um, NHL game. I was gonna say NHL 14 game, yeah, because there's more than NHL, there's more copies of NHL 14 coming in the future years. But um, honestly, this NHL looks so amazing, guys. I'm so pumped for it. This could turn out to be amazing. This could probably be the best NHL in my opinion. I mean, since like all the new implements from the old game coming over to the new game, obviously being touched up had a year to work on them i'm super pumped for this game guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about the trailer and all that good stuff all the brand new features that we've been getting in the past week and are you excited for hl14 because i sure as hell am but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to like comment subscribe guys for more hl14 news peace